So many years ago, Neil, you gave me your book, and so now it's my absolute pleasure to finally yeah, give you my book. Finally! It's a, it's a, we get the nautical world, we get the adventure, we are all solo sailors, and yes, you've restored the old Open 60. Where is she now? Pick a colour. Ah, I like this colour. Let's go with the kind of an orangey colour. Right. So you have to sign that uh, to me. But whilst we are signing, not just to you, well, to us, darling, and to the years and years that we have worked together, we have been dreamers. But it's more than just being dreamers. You've done something. Oh yeah. Tell me about what, what, what makes Europe and all of us for you so special. What motivates you? Well, being born in a country like Portugal, but growing up away from Portugal. It's very easy to have a sense of mission to do something for this beautiful country. So having grown up in the UK, but also lived in Monaco, United States, and Barcelona, and Caribbean, I was always carrying Portugal in my heart and wanting to do things for Portugal. But Ricardo, we may be solo sailors, but we've always collaborated. It's always been about our team, our, our family. And it's not about a country, it's about we've always supported each other, encouraged each other, so like, hey, be the best you can be. It's about bringing people together. How are you transitioning now, your continuing of the carrying of the baton, to helping people? Well, for about 22 years now, um, I've helped uh, yacht owners enjoy their boats and get to know their boats because... That was our passion. Yeah, when people buy a boat, it doesn't necessarily mean they know about sailing. And so I've, I've also learned to sail from outside the sailing world. And so it's a pleasure to help people understand and enjoy their toys more. Um, and that transitioned into uh, motivational speaking around the world, just like you. And uh, more recently, in the last four or five years, into corporate coaching. And so I'm just happy to see people happy. And I'm always interested in what I call cultivating human potential, helping people get to where they want to get, supporting their process, supporting their challenges, and, and in a very relatable way, sharing how. I've achieved what I've achieved, how I've overcome my challenges, and, and people find that very helpful. And so most of what I do these days is travel the world, coaching um, people in big companies and helping them get to where they want to go. And so today in the world of ESG, it is not just about what are we doing for our environment. It's not just going to be about the governance. It's about our society and how, as a global community, as a global society, how we come together and we reconnect. Because it's going to be people who every day make the world a better place. And if we're going to protect our planet, we have to protect our societies. We have to come up with strong bonds and strong cooperation and collaboration. So Ricardo, let's keep working together. Let's keep trying to find how do we change another generation. You are a father today. You're working with people all over the, over the world. And this is how we change lives one life at a time and keep the friendship strong, keep the relationship strong. So, so good to have you on board. Thank you. And thank you yes. for this new book. Now get busy and let's sign this new book. <laughs> Good to see you both again. <laughs>